In this video, you will learn how to replace the quartz sleeve on your black comb system. Before replacing the quartz sleeve, ensure that you have the correct parts. The part number that you require will be found on the silver label on your reactor or on the maintenance part screen of your controller. Once you have determined that you have the correct replacement parts, complete the following steps to replace the quartz sleeve. Shut off the main inlet valve. Release water pressure by opening a downstream faucet and then close the outlet shutoff valve. If there is not an outlet shutoff valve, expect water to drain from the system. Disconnect the power cord of your controller from the electrical outlet. Remove the captive ground screw from the ground lug on the UV reactor using a Phillips head screwdriver. Remove the lamp connector from the reactor by pushing the lamp connector into the gland nut and turning it a one quarter turn counterclockwise. Disconnect the lamp connector from the lamp. Being careful to touch only the ceramic ends, remove the lamp from the reactor. Ensure that you take it straight out as to not break the lamp. Unscrew the gland nut from the reactor exposing the end of the quartz sleeve. Remove the quartz sleeve and o-ring by gently twisting and pulling the sleeve. Pull it straight out of the chamber to make sure that you do not crack it. Remove new quartz sleeve from its packaging using soft, lint-free gloves. Insert new sleeve into the chamber, ensuring that it is straight and sits right in the middle of the basket at the other side of the chamber. Once the sleeve is seated, remove the new o-ring from its packaging and place it on top of the new sleeve. Make sure that it sits right on top of the lip on the reactor to prevent any water from leaking out the top of the chamber. Drop the spring into the quartz sleeve. It is imperative that you place the spring in the sleeve to ensure that the lamp is seated properly and does not get broken. Carefully place the lamp into the sleeve and connect it to the lamp connector. Push in into the gland nut and twist one quarter turn clockwise to lock it into place. Tighten the ground screw back on the ground lug on the UV reactor. Slowly turn the water back on to ensure that there is no leaking from the gland nut. If there is, turn the water off again and take off the gland nut. Make sure that the o-ring is fully seated up against the reactor and try again. 